Hi guys, I'm Kiwi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore must-haves video. These are just some of my favorite products that you can just find at the drugstore. Sometimes makeup can be a little expensive and a lot of people don't really shop at the drugstore but you can actually find a lot of affordable amazing products at the drugstore. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite drugstore uh, products. All of these items are just like things that you can actually go to the drugstore and get like CVS or Walgreens or Target or Walmart or somewhere like that you can actually go to the stores and get them as usual be sure to let me know some of you guys' favorites in the comment below and if you guys would like to see the items that I have been loving from the drugstore then just keep watching now this is a new foundation for me but it quickly became a favorite of mine and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Mac foundation this has literally been one of the best foundations that I have tried from the drugstore and I heard everybody and their mom raving about this foundation and I was like okay it could possibly not even be that good <laughs> you know sometimes people overhype things especially on YouTube so I was just like I don't know I put it off a really really long time with one and try it so I was just like okay I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go and I finally tried it and I see why it is so hyped up it is such a beautiful foundation on the skin it looks so skin like it's one of those foundations where you just catch yourself looking in the mirror and going like that foundation looks good like <laughs> it looks good and it looks so skin like it looks really really natural on the skin it is a matte foundation so if you're someone who is looking for like a dewy finish and things like that you know just add a highlight or whatever and you'll be good to go but as far as the finish of it it is a complete matte foundation it's beautiful on the skin it is like a medium to full coverage foundation so you can uh, build up this foundation but honestly one layer of this foundation is a no I don't have issues with my dark spots peeking through even throughout the day I don't have issues with it pe my spots peeking through or my skin getting, getting oily or anything like that it's an amazing foundation it is a 24 hour wearing foundation I've never worn it for 24 hours but it is a very very long lasting foundation I don't even have to touch it up I don't even set it with a powder and that's how amazing this foundation is I highly 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 recommend this foundation I'm wearing it today it is in the color 111 soft stable I was a little iffy about it because the cut the color selection I was thinking that I maybe needed to go a little bit lighter I think it matches perfectly I love this foundation hands down one of the best ones at the drugstore and I can talk about it all day but I'm gonna move on to the next product because I don't want this video to be too long. Alright, so for concealers, I was actually trying to decide between the concealer that I actually picked and the LA Girl Pro Concealer because those are really amazing. And the Maybelline uh, Camouflaging Concealer, I was honestly trying to choose between those three. I thought the LA Girl, but then I was thinking you can't really get those from the drugstore. So I decided to go with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. These are some of the best concealers from the drugstore. They're so creamy. They're really, really easy to blend out. I don't have issues with them creasing. Again, I'm wearing it all. I think I'm wearing everything that I mentioned on my face today. Some concealers, sometimes I have issues with them creasing. Sometimes I have issues with my concealer leaving, especially under my eyes and my dark spots will start to peek through. But I do not have that issue with this concealer. Sometimes I have issues with them being really, really hard to blend out, but not this one. And it comes with an applicator, uh, like a little one applicator like that. So it's really easy to apply. These are actually really, really good concealers. Like I said, I do not have an issue with them creasing or leaving or anything like that. They're very, very long-lasting concealers, and they're really, the coverage of these concealers are amazing. They're so thick, but they are amazing. It conceals. It really conceals. So I highly, highly recommend these. These are like my favorite concealers from the drugstore. Honestly, trying to choose between Milani and Elf blushes. Since I had to choose one, I chose Milani blushes because Milani seriously has some amazing blushes and I chose this brand because Milani is a very women of color friendly brand. 
and I love that about the company and the packaging is gorgeous but I love the fact that this is a very woman of color brand sometimes blushes can look a little ashy on women of color and sometimes they can be a bit too much but these are perfect for women of color this one not necessarily it probably will work more so as a highlighter but this is probably the only one that would not work that well as a blush for a lot of like if you're darker than me then I would recommend using this as a highlighter I use it as a blush because it you know it works as a blush for me but uh, if you're a little bit darker it could be a little ashy on you so but it does have sheen in it and I noticed that with all of the Milani blushes that I have they do have sheen in them like glitter and most of them well all of them are baked they did come out with some rose ones and I believe those are matte but these are baked and they all have shimmer in them and they're really really beautiful on the skin like I said they're not ashy on the skin and they really really last a long time this is the one that I'm wearing today this one is Berry Amore and I have it on today and it's just such a beautiful blush especially on women of color so I definitely recommend Milani blushes if you are a woman of color and you're looking for are amazing blushes this will definitely be a brand that I would recommend checking out as far as bronzer I had to go with this bronzer here now I was trying to choose between this one and the NYC bronzer but I decided to go with the elf contouring bronzing blush and bronzer powder and this one is in Turks and Caicos now I love these if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know that I am a huge fan of elf contouring blush and bronzer set you guys have seen me go through St. Lucia bronzers many a times. I always run out of that one. And this one is in Turks and Caicos. I was just like trying it out. And at first I thought it was going to be a little too dark. Because I had the one that's in the middle of them. I can't remember the name of that one. And it was too red for me. So that one didn't work out. But this one is amazing. This one is kind of a mixture of cool and warm it's like a neutral bronzer actually and it's really i have it on today and it's just a really nice bronzer to have if you're lighter than me you can definitely use it to contour with but as far as bronzing i use it to bronze because it is a beautiful color this one and saint lucy i would definitely recommend that because i go through them so much i <laughs> I've repurchased these so many times because they're beautiful. They really are. I have another e.l.f. product. This is actually a blush. This is one of e.l.f.'s baked blush uh, in the color Pink Tastic. And it is such a beautiful highlight. It is, again, the highlight that I'm wearing today. You can just see, like, this glow. I love this highlight. Even though it's a blush, I keep calling it a highlight. I'm going to keep calling it a highlight because it looks like a highlight, right? It's like one of those highlighters that have every color in it like it has that white gold that pinky gold that uh champagne -y looking color it's more of a neutral highlighter so it's gonna look amazing on every skin tone so it is absolutely beautiful elf did a thing with this this is one of my favorite not not just drugstore products but one of my favorite all-time beauty products it's only three dollars it's beautiful on the skin and it's just amazing <laughs> amazing okay so for the eyeshadows i actually could not choose just one drugstore eyeshadow so i decided to choose three of like single shadows um not necessarily the color but the type of shadow that it is like the eyeshadow in general so i chose three that i've just really been loving a lot lately so the first one is from l'oreal these are the l'oreal infallible eyeshadows and they are just absolutely beautiful i have never tried one of their eyeshadows that wasn't good <laughs> and the thing about this brand is that it does have metallic and matte shades so you can actually get something for every look like every part of the eyeshadow that you need the transition color the crease color the like shimmery look whatever you need is actually you can find it in this this one here is an amber rush and it's more of a metallic color but they're just so pigmented that they are just amazing like I haven't even tried one that wasn't good to be honest with you and i have quite a few of these but i mean just look at that shadow just look at it and imagine it on your eyes they're so long lasting they're so beautiful on the eyes another brand is milani eyeshadows and these are the bella 
eyeshadows i have quite a few of these as well and they are just absolutely beautiful and again they're kind of similar to the infallible shadows not formula wise but how the shadows have the metallic lines and the mattes and shimmers and satins and all of those this is how that line is too so you you're bound to find a color or just the eyeshadow in general to match any look that you're going for and this one here it happens to be one of their metallic ones so you can just see how pigmented this shadow is here all right so you can just see how pigmented and beautiful these are again this is one of their metallic ones and they're just so beautiful on the eyes so definitely recommend that that's these are just some of the best eyeshadows in the drugstore. Another one is from NYX. And these are their prismatic eyeshadows. Now, these are some of the most pigmented eyeshadows that I have ever tried. They're beautiful on the eyes. And this one in general is in Mermaid. And I think this one has to be one of my favorite ones out of all of the ones that I've tried. It's just such a beautiful mermaidy type color. They are just so pigmented and just so beautiful on the skin. You can just see it. But see, the thing about these, are they're not like the other ones. Like, they don't have matte shadows in the line. They really just only have metallic shimmery colors. So, all of these are really just for, like, the lid. For, or just like that pop of color. They're not necessarily for like the crease and all of that because they are metallic and they are shimmery. But they're beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows and I just love, love them. <laughs> Alright, so as far as eyeliner, I have two that I want to talk about. I want to talk about one for like wing eyeliner and just your top lash line and that is the nyc liquid liner this has been this is one of the best eyeliners in the drugstore <laughs> and not even for the price because it's only two dollars two dollars it's so easy to apply this is the rimmel coal eyeliner i've talked about this eyeliner plenty of times before you guys have seen me use these in plenty of tutorials but these are just some of the most pigmented eyeliners i have quite a few of these they come in different colors not just black but it's a cold eyeliner it is one that you do have to sharpen but it is one of the like most pigmented black eyeshadows that i've ever tried it's just very, very pigmented. And that's what I love about these eyeliners. And I don't, ha I personally don't have issues with them smudging in my waterline. But it is such a beautiful eyeliner. Like, just look at that. It's pigmented like crazy, right? And then I have two mascaras because I couldn't choose just one. Because you guys know I am a mascara junkie. So I couldn't just choose one. I chose the L'Oreal Miss Magna Voluminous Mascara. And I love this mascara. And I I know a lot of people don't really like this mascara because of its one it had it does like a lot of people don't like like the bendy it's really really bendy and flexible and stuff so a lot of people don't like that but I personally have gotten used to it because and it's something that I just choose to look over because of the way my lashes look my lashes just look so full so long and they're just so beautiful this is one of those mascaras where if you have the mascara on people would think you have on false eyelashes I have it on today but I do have on lashes as well but I love this especially on my bottom lash line it is beautiful on the eyes I love this one and another one that I have talked about and talked about and talked about for a long time. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about this one plenty of times before. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carving Black Mascara. Now I love, love, love this one especially for my bottom lash line. But I also like it for my top lash line. On days that I'm not really wearing lashes, I'll apply probably about three coats of this. And it just gives my lashes those really, really long lashes. I will put this on because these just make your lashes look so long. It doesn't necessarily give it as much volume as the Miss Mag the mascara does but it does still make it look look make your lashes look amazing and they're also amazing for your bottom lash line if you're like me you like really long bottom lashes this will be perfect for that so. all right and then the last category is lips now you guys know i am a lipstick junkie i love lipsticks so it's kind of like uh, keep it choose one but i couldn't so i chose three brands necessarily like the 
the lines, not the colors or anything like that, you know? Milani makes some amazing lipsticks. I've only tried their matte line. You guys know that I have quite a few of those. I am going to do a swatch video on those. I have like a whole week of swatch videos planned for you guys. And they will be coming up soon. But that's not what this video is about. <laughs> this is their matte line. And I just love their matte lipsticks. Because for one, they're matte. I love matte lips. And for two, the colors are amazing. The lipsticks are so pigmented. This one is matte naked. And you can just see how pigmented these lipsticks are. They're not like blotchy or like or anything like that. They're just really beautiful on the lips and they last a really, really long time. And they smell amazing. <laughs> so that is a plus. I really, really love Milani's matte lipsticks. And then Maybelline just in general makes amazing lipsticks. Anytime I like Maybelline, what? Anytime Maybelline comes out with new lipsticks, I, I have them. I have them because I just love their lipsticks. They've never disappointed me with their lipsticks. Uh, recently more like if I had to choose a favorite Maybelline line, it would probably be their creamy matte lipstick line because of course I love matte lipsticks but I love creamy matte lipsticks. I do not like drying matte lipsticks. <sighs> Why do I keep saying matte lips? I feel like I just said matte lipsticks 50 times. But I really, really love for the lipsticks to be creamy. And that's one thing about the Milani lipsticks. They are creamy as well. So I do love creamy matte lipsticks that are just not drying on the lips. So this one is from their creamy line. And this one is in Touch of Spice. I feel like I grabbed all nudie lipsticks but i just grabbed one from the brand and this one is in touch of spice it's a beautiful fall color so uh beautiful beautiful lipsticks you can actually see like just look at that amazing right and then the last one that i want to talk about is from wet n wild these are two dollars two dollar lipsticks they're amazing if you catch them sometimes you might be able to catch them for one dollar 99 cent you know they are amazing matte lipsticks however some of them are not like completely matte matte like they won't look like this on the lips they have little sheen to them but that's perfectly okay they're not like glossy or anything like that but they are beautiful they come in a wide wide range of colors again very women of color friendly um, actually all three of these lipstick lines are very women of color friendly um, but this one has amazing colors every every skin cone skin cone skin tone can find lipsticks that they like from this no matter the undertone or whatever they have a lipstick for everyone for two dollars and they are amazing they last all day like literally all day you do not have to touch them up you can eat drink whatever and it is going to last these things do not budge and they are just beautiful on the lips i'm gonna swatch one just to show you guys the pigmentation this one is mauve out of here and i told you guys i got like just just look at this you see that like right isn't that beautiful? And all of them are pigmented like this for two dollars, and they last all day. Those are all of my drugstore must-haves. What are some of your drugstore must-haves? Let me know in the comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And I think that is about it. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.